In my last video, I was explaining to you all how the general public retail were getting very bearish down at the lows and expecting a big market crash to come. Of course, influenced by the news outlets, etc., that are poisoning the brain and really telling people, you know, expect this big market crash to come. And here we are a few days later, 5% up from those lows. And it truly just goes to show you, you need to block out the news, you need to block out the external factors, focus on the charts, focus on the levels and focus on the technical analysis if you actually want to make profit in this market. And in this video, I will be teaching you and explaining to you the next levels, the technical analysis, and of course, how to make profits alongside me. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be an absolutely wonderful video. Let's go into what you're here for. I'm gonna be giving you a very concise professional analysis today and just giving you that need to know information. So uh, yeah, let's prepare ourselves to profit and jump into the charts here. I will briefly pick up where I left off my last video, which was around two days ago now, and how at that time, we were obviously trading around here, right? And my target was below $28,000 to the monthly naked point of control. And that patience in the end obviously played out very well. And in the evening of the of, of uh, still waiting for that level to be here, telling my team, you know, we've, we've seen slight front runs of the level, slight bounces before, but I'm remaining patient. I want to see below $28,000. I want to see that taken out, take out the liquidity and hit that NPOC. Okay, and I'll explain how I took a losing long trade here, first of all. And that was here on this section of the chart as we actually come down below $28,000 and got a bit of a bounce off the NPOC. For me, that was an initial long trade entry and I got stopped out really simply off that long as we come down and took the lows overnight. Okay, so I woke up the next day uh, having been stopped out of that long trade and still looking for a new long trade entry because for me, we are at very big support. And it's like I told my team then the next morning, 8 a.m. For me, I've now got a new long trade opportunity which I've taken here. And that was after the fake out, move back up, reclaim market structure, back test of that NPOC. For me, that was the long trade opportunity. You know, there's no hindsight, there's no delays here. It's waking up, seeing the trade, seeing the reaction. I'm happy with that. It's a swing trade for me. I'm expecting much higher here, and thus I'm gonna take that long trade. So coming in there, telling my team, that's the long, that's the trade I've taken. Moving on to then what was the daily morning update. Okay, in that daily morning update, I you know, made it very clear indeed my bias. I was long, the first words of the stream, I'm long, I'm looking for higher. We got the CCV target as our highest target right now. And that was coming in here above $28,000, okay? So really simply, simple, as the day went on, we were aware of the trades, we were aware of the targets, 28,700, and this is how it come along absolutely wonderfully. Smash those emojis if you made profits alongside we, and we had a lot of smashing indeed. As, uh, you know, absolutely brilliant day, as we timed the absolute low, every single person in the group could have got the same entry as me. As, uh, you know, during the day, we got a little bit of a pullback to entry once more before we started to get this lovely increase in price. We hit the CCV target, which was 28,772. We come into that target, lovely take profit one, didn't close the whole trade, but I did take profit one, move that stop loss then to entry. Okay, yesterday, I actually took zero trades. <laughs> there was not a trade for me yesterday. Uh, from that CCV target, we obviously got a bit of a decrease in price to really simply the CC from low to high. We come into the CC and we've got our bounce. Where to? Up to this higher daily level that we had marked out, okay? And from this higher daily level, we can clearly see we've had one reaction and then a secondary back test bringing us down locally here in price, right? And so this is, you know, those were the levels, those were the technicals. And just to make it very clear to you once more, uh, for me, it was patience after we broke down from this local range to wait for the NPC on the, um, you know, the monthly naked point of control below $28,000. The first time we hit that, I got a reaction. I took a long. I got stopped out of that first original long. Not to worry. I took the next trade setup that I found, which was off of the reclaim of that very same level. Told my team, this is the long, this is the target, this is what we're going for. Hit take profit one, move stop loss to entry. Here we are at $29,000, back up at our next daily level. Still in that long trade, still personally looking for a bit higher. So that's the rundown. And now I'll explain then what I'm looking for next over the next uh, really few days going into the weekend. Okay, so this could be for the next week to come, let's say. Here we are on a Thursday. 
Um, before I give you the information and technicals and levels that I'm looking for next in my trades, a few just quick, very quick announcements for you all. First and foremost is reminder, e your live trading sessions. If you want the live trading, if you want the ultimate confidence booster, uh, see people as they're taking the trade, explaining the trade, explaining the reasons for that. And then obviously we got the live trading sessions on chartchampions.com. And again, uh, the daily updates every single day. Of course, I've given my daily morning live trading uh, stream update today, explaining my trades, explaining my bias, and explaining what I'm looking for next. And so if you want to check out, it's like this, but a lot, of course, a lot more in depth, a lot more actually giving you the key levels, then that's what you can get over on Chart Champions right now. Okay. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about uh, was, you know, a little bit of a reminder from, I'm aware that the KYC is coming in on the 8th of uh, May, so in four days time, I'm still continuing my ongoing research of the best exchange for our US friends. And, um, you know, I'm really hammering down on that today and tomorrow. We'll have an answer for you uh, for my preferred exchange. I, you know, I will use it as well at the end of the day. Um, and yeah, mainly for the US customers that can't KYC on Bybit, right? So just to let you know, that is still ongoing. And, you know, blew my mind, obviously, in that video, I kind of showed you all shady tactics that BitGet were using, how I'm avoiding them, how I refuse to use them. And it was kind of hilarious that I actually had then someone from <laughs> BitGet reach out to me and just basically wanted me to backtrack on all that and offered me even more money to just say, yeah, I'm going to work with BitGate. It's crazy the amount of money that I could have made from this. But as it's kind of obvious, right, I don't need the money. I'm not going to sell myself out. I'm not that type of guy. Um, and yeah, <laughs> funnily enough, then the next day we continue to see these bots just going at it. Just absolutely crazy. It's just very easy to see the scammy tactics that they're using here, like, right, they got all these bot accounts just saying bit gets the best, bit gets the best, uh, reports replying to every single bit get post. It's just absolutely crazy. Oh, man, I personally, I'm just avoiding them. And I do know firsthand the amount of money these influencers are getting for promoting them. So what I would say is this, if you see people promoting them, just know for a fact they're going to have taken a large paycheck to do that. And I just question, do they have your best interest in hearts or do they simply want that paycheck? Um, just something to be aware of. I'm not trying to cause FUD or anything here. You know, at the end of the day, you can do your own research and you can put your money in crypto exactly where you want. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you my insights, opinions and, and you know, opinions based off of my own research. But for me, that is a major red flag and a reason why I'm just not going to work with them, period. I'm not going to trade on them. I'm not going to do anything. It's just for me, yeah, very, very shady, immoral, and yeah, not my cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> let's just say that. So bringing it back to the charts and the technicals, that's what you're here for, right? Uh, so really simply right now, we have this local range, which is formed off of the top daily. Okay, so this is the top daily we've had marked out for a while. And off of this top daily, we're currently seeing uh, rejections, right? Um, so this is very similar analysis. So you're a little bit, <laughs> you can be looking forward to this very similar to analysis to what I've already given to my champions this morning. Uh, and that is at the moment, I'm not in a short trade. I've not shorted this initial rejection. What I'm actually looking for is before I take a short based off the reaction, of course, would be to take this high once more and look for some sort of swing failure pattern or failed auction, right? So basically what we're looking at here is this isn't the daily, but we'll just use this as our market. We'd be looking for this high to be taken out back into the range okay if we get a reaction off of this high which is like our swing failure pattern type trade if we get that swing failure pattern that's when you know i'll trade the charts and, and take a short trade okay so for me as it stands i still hold the long that i have from two days ago and again if you wanted to get in that long with me everybody inside that champions live stream was given the entry was given the targets and you know explained why we'll hold on to that and let it run stop loss at entry still in that long so i'm in longs and i'm personally still looking for higher right which is simply my next target is from current price action you know we're talking about 200 dollars higher okay and then from here i'll make my next informed decision so as it stands i you know you could say i'm bullish i'm long i'm looking for higher that can change if we get a rejection 200 dollars higher right <laughs> i'll trade the charts and so this would be my next area of interest, a rejection from here. Okay, from there, we'd even look for another higher low and continuation of this more now local uptrend. Or we get our rejection, we get our short trade entry, and we'll look for taking this down in price. For me, this is a very, 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 very key area in the chart. I think if we are looking for the reclaim of 29,500, 
personally would be looking for that 32,500 again, $32,000. Uh, but if we do get our rejection here, then I'm looking for the more heavy decrease in price. So as it stands for me, this is an extremely important zone on the chart. I personally have not taken the long yet. I would like to see an SFP for my entry trigger or a rejection off of our higher level, right? For me, that then gives an entry trigger. As it stands, we did reject off that daily to the exact dollar, but this for me happened at 11 p.m. and I was simply sleeping. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's more like now I'm becoming much more of a swing trader. I'm very patient, methodical in my analysis. If I miss a trade, so be it, right? I'm, I'm more than happy to miss a trade. I'm giving a lot of time still on the charts, inside of the chart champions, inside of the Discord. But for me, I'm just taking less trades because I'm more of a swing trader. Okay, towards the end of June, I'm going to go back more into sculpt trading. But for now, I've still just got so many chart champions projects to be working on and helping out the team grow. So, um, yeah, for me, the next trade would be SFP of this range high. Again, this is more of a day trade, which turns into a swing trade potentially. Okay, so just so you understand that. Um, and that is basically my analysis. I will just say one final thing here, and that's if you want to see more uh, more content for myself, kind of live interactive content, uh, understanding my day. I'll give you updates on trades. I'll do some question analysis, question and analysis, question and answers, uh, insights into what I'm doing, etc. All up posting it at the moment over on my Instagram. I'm kind of enjoying the Instagram community. Everybody here is like ultra friendly. <laughs> uh, there's like zero trolls. So I kind of love the Instagram right now. And so, yeah, this is where you can just see and updates on my day, what I'm up to, uh, giving you some, you know, insights into trades, question analysis, again, question and answers. Uh, and you can catch all of that just really simply chart champions. I will warn you now, there's a lot of fake accounts. So just make sure you type it correctly. Chart champions, around 15K followers, only following 59 people. Just make sure that's the right one. And if you want updates on that, or you want some more insights into what I'm doing, etc., that's all over on that Instagram account right now. So... Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to make you aware of. I've now explained to you my bias, why we need to block out those external factors, right? Because if you listen to the news, if you listen to, you know, the general public right down here, you're very bearish expecting a market crash. Block out that, trade the charts. We had our long trade entry off the NPUC, took that long trade entry. Here we are at $29 thousand dollars from here this is a very key zone for me 29500 we get the rejection you know i'll happily take that short if we reclaim that into support bam i'm looking for higher prices to come and i'll remain simply in these long trades so yeah that is my analysis that's my bias that's how i continue to trade the charts and that's how i make profits inside of the cryptocurrency market if you want to do that alongside me you know where to get all that information necessary chartchampions.com the education of course the live trading streams the templates, the cheat sheets, the live updates inside the discords, all of that given to you in the champions package via chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this one. And if you have, you know what to do. Smash those like buttons, hit the comments down below. I'll read every single one. And each like gives me a, gives me a little bit of a extra bit of my smile. So cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Love you all. That's me signing out. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye.